So I'm going to recommend some of the machine types that, that you would normally want to use when it comes to compute. So in AWS, when it comes to compute for the master nodes, you can use the general purpose uh, machine types, the M4s and M5 machine types. Um, the M5 also supports NVMe disk. And if you're running Zookeeper inside your master nodes, choose the ones that are adding the N NVMe disk local SSDs. Uh, for the queries, um, uh, definitely you can use C5, um, C5 as uh, more memories um, and, um, and you can use M5 as well, uh, machine types. Um, for data, like I mentioned before, I'm recommending using the M5Ds, the C5Ds, R5Ds, and all these support NVMe disks uh, that you could use for storing your segments, the immutable segments in the local disk of your historical nodes. Okay, so, and, and also set up auto-scaling groups. And, and these auto-scaling groups are not for automatically scaling your master nodes or query nodes or data nodes, but it's more for creating a kind of a scale sets, if you will. So if a master virtual machine goes down, then the auto-scaling groups make sure that another you know, VM is spun up and, and the master node is up and running. You would at least have three master nodes at any given point in time. And we use auto-scaling groups for that. Um, like I mentioned before, leverage an application load balancer um, and expose only the router ports uh, to it. Um, the router access and management proxy um, and you use the application load balancer for your custom applications or your users uh, to talk to your root cluster. So we talked about metadata and deep storage and external dependency before. Just want to give you some kind of a guidance on the version numbers that you would want to use when you're deploying Druid. Um, when it comes to AWS, there are multiple options that you can use as metadata. You can use the MySQL, the MariaDB, PostgreSQL, the Amazon Aurora uh, database as well. Um, so make sure you use those 5.7 plus versions. Um, when it comes to MySQL, uh, we recommend 5.7.8 plus, plus uh, compatibility. Um, and for PostgreSQL, 9.5.4 plus. If your database is in a separate VPC, make sure you set up the appropriate VPC peering that's uh, to make uh, to allow the virtual machines inside your Druid VPC to talk to uh, the metadata database. Um, and when it comes to AWS for deep storage, like I mentioned before, you know S3 is, is, is the better choice. In AWS use S3 as your deep storage where you would store the immutable segment files. Um, that's our durable storage external dependency for the Druid cluster. <clears throat> 